Welcome back to the PlayStation Livecast, live here from the PlayStation Exhibit Hall. I'm Meredith Molinari, here with Marcus Nilsson of Need for Speed Rivals. Now, right now, let's talk about a little bit about Need for Speed Rivals. I was a big fan of Hot Pursuit, and I know this one also includes a cop car, but it's a little bit different this time. Yeah, you, you could argue that it's actually quite a lot different uh, from Hot Pursuit. Hot Pursuit was a very kind of bespoke, um, you know, choose from a menu experience. Mm -hmm. uh, Cop versus races, absolutely. Um, you know, weapons, pursuit tech to, uh, to take down your rivals. Um, this time around, it's an open world, massive ma open world, lots to do. Play as either a cop or a racer. But the big difference from, I guess, Hot Pursuit in that regard is that they're very different. You play through racer in, in, in one way, and you play through cop in a totally different right. way. Now, just to give our audience a live home, this is a live demo going on right now. It is indeed, yeah. It's live, what you were watching. Just like we are live, the demo is actually live right here. Exactly. This is obviously one of our racers. Exactly, and it's obviously a Ferrari. Yes, yeah. I know Ferrari's back. It's a Ferrari 12, uh, what was um, it, uh, yeah, Berlinetta? It's the F, yeah, it's a Berlinetta, uh, F12 Berlinetta. It's back in the game after nice. seven years not being in Need for Speed. Obviously, we're proud of that. And, yeah. And, uh, you know, having a game about exotic cars and not having Ferrari is <laughs> not really the perfect fit. So now now they're back, and they're, they're, they're great to drive, and, and they obviously look great as well. Now, one of the things I was reading about is that the racer is actually going to have, um, they can get speed points and then you can wager those speed points in the game to unlock different rewards. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I can do that and, and kind of um, correct the small mistakes in what you said yes, there. Uh, correct, really, yes, correct what, all my mistakes. <laughs> what this is, is, is that it's a high stake risk and reward scoring system uh -huh. and it kind of goes back into that the cop and the racer are different. Uh, as a racer, you will go out in the world like this guy's doing now. You can yeah. see how he's collecting points. Right now he has 34,000 points, if you can see that at home. Um, you can also see there's a number up underneath that times four. That means that every action he makes right now, he's making more and more points. Uh, it exponentially goes up actually, but to actually get those points, he needs to go and bank them. And that's where that risk and reward comes in, right? Because the longer he stays out, the more points he's going to make. Right. But you know, his, you know, the cops are going to, you know, get more and more um, value from taking him down, and he's also more highlighted on the map to cops. So if the cops take him down now. He will lo lose all those 37,000 points right now, and the cop will take them. So it's yeah. a really cool, new, interesting uh, scoring mechanic, which is kind of, you know, leaves you on the edge of your seat all the time. Um, and, um, and, you know, really brings energy and, and, um, and excitement to the experience. Absolutely. All right, let's just watch for a minute and listen to some of the actual gameplay that's going on right here. They can, okay. they can, they, they can work as a team. Uh, actually, it's beneficial for them yeah. to work as a team. Um, you, you know, but you absolutely, absolutely do not have to. Uh, the, the kind of absolute biggest feature of this game, is something we call all drive. Right, now this is how uh, they socially connect, right? Yeah, you know, really what that is, is something, you know, quite brand new. Um, instead of having a single player experience, a, a co-op experience and a multiplayer experience, we simply have one need for speed world and you choose how to experience that. The way that works is that if you're playing the game, you're playing Rivals, um, and then uh, I start playing Rivals and we're friends, that means that I'm going to be put into your world. So you can still be playing single player on your end, go through the progression. I'm playing single player, going through my progression. We do not need to see each other, even if we want to, uh, obviously. Uh, but then if it happens, yeah. and we happen to be on the same street then, or the same road, we go into a either co-op or multiplayer experience uh -huh. seamlessly. There's no no lobbies, uh, no waiting. It just happens through player action, really. That's great. So you basically just kind of like keep an eye on your rear view. You never know when someone's going to come up behind uh, you. Exactly. You know, you, you need to keep keep out for um, your enemies and your friends. <laughs> That's really great. Talk to me now. What about the aesthetic um, customization of the vehicles? Can the drivers actually, with their race cars or the cop cars, customize them? Yeah. In in a game where we go. Um, you know, obviously you can play through this game, you know, offline alone um, in, 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 if you want that. But this layer of all drive really adds a layer of playing with others. And when, when we have that layer, I think it's important to have a car that can actually express who you are. Mm -hmm. um, so if I want to have, you know, show my love and have a red car with some decals on, obviously I want to be able to do that. 
So uh, you can change color, you have license plates, you have decals on the car, uh, you can you know, change the rims and change the color of the rims. Great. So it's really, you know, we want to be able to, to kind of give you the tool set to, to uh, personalize your, 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 yourself and your car. Cool. Now I talked, we saw the little EMP come up before. You got shockwaves. Any other gadgets at their disposal? There will be a number of gadgets in this game, uh, which will all kind of fit into the progression of the game. Okay. Uh, the EMP is one of them. The, they will be upgradable, uh, as in charge up time, uh, the actual damage they make. Uh, and uh, it really creates that spice, um, you know, in the racing world. We're thinking a lot of kind of the rock, paper, scissors mechanics of that. <laughs> so. What you do, I can kind of counter, but when I do something, you can counter that, and at the end of the day, you know, someone's going to win, right? That's great. Now, as far as all drive is concerned, is that available online only, or can that be uh, local as well? So, um, all drive itself is, is, is not a game mode per se, it's just a way of playing. So, mm -hmm. if, you, if, you, if you're playing this game alone, um, you will be playing with AI, obviously. Yes. Um, and, and the way it's going to play out is that you start playing this game, you go through the kind of tutorial, and we're going to ask you, do you want to, you know, let other people into your game or not? And, and you know, if you, if you do, do you want that to only to be, be friends, or do you want to open up everyone? Oh, great. Um, so you kind of control who comes in and out of your racing absolutely. world. Absolutely. And, and um, you know, if you, if you then, when well, you play, open up to friends, and we are friends, um, I can easily come into your world totally seamlessly. You, you won't even notice it. That's so great. All right, well, release date, when can we get our hands on it? Uh, you can get the hands on the uh, PS3 version of this on the 19th of November. Right. Uh, it's obviously also on PS4 um, at a later date. At a later date. All right, awesome. Any other things besides the, uh, the Ferrari F F12s or the Berlinetta? Any other exotic cars that you want to tell us about? Well, they're, they're 55 to 60 cars. Wow. Uh, they're all kind of hand-picked and, and, and exotic in their own ways. Um, the the thing that you know really kind of makes those cars stand out, though I, I I'd assume is is the way that we can build them and light them and, and using uh, you, you know use of the frost by three uh, uh, frost by three engine, um, you know it is what's propelling uh, you know Battlefield Four um, as well, right? It's a very very capable engine. Um, it is it, it is quite you know with some margin probably the best looking Need to Speed game we've ever made. And, and we're, you know, obviously very intrigued of taking it on to the next generation. All right, well, thanks so much. I can't wait to drive one. Thanks Thank for joining you. us. All right, guys, up next, we're going to take a look at Puppeteer. <laughs> Time ago, in a galaxy far from far away. Prepare for an astonishing adventure, full of mystery, full of danger, and full of artistry. At stake were not just one boy's fate, but the fate of the whole moon, and the earth, and the sun, and galaxy. grew even clashier. The boy snipped, sliced, and sundered with the cold realization his life counted on it. The flimsy soul of a selfish boy had become the adamantine soul of a hero. Kutaro made the forceps, <clears throat> I mean scissors, be with him.